Oh, oh my god! Ah. Welcome to the video. This is Eric Fedko. And this is Emil Johansson. They are both dope mountain bikers. This series is about them. How, where and why they mountain bike. We follow them as they go to different competitions, check out radical bike spots and lay down dope bangers. This series is called Raising the Bar. We hope you enjoy. As usual, Eric and Emil have been biking pretty much every damn day. Bike, eat, sleep, repeat. Bike, eat, sleep, repeat. They have traveled to Innsbruck, Austria, for the next stop of Crankworks. A podium finish would be nice. Either way, afterwards plans have been made to travel to Eric's home, to see what they find along the way. But that comes later. First, the mountain biking. Right now, we are in Innsbruck. I wait for the wind to die down so we can all ride practice. But due to rain, we needed to hide. <laughs> First day of Crankworks and the whip off is happening tonight, so yeah, keen on the first session here. What are you thinking? Dude, I don't know. Went straight over the bars, under-rotated so bad, but yeah, I'm still here, walking, talking, so yeah. You're gonna be okay. Good morning, guys. I've been to the hospital last night and the doctor just called me because I had blood in my urine and I have to do a CT of my kidneys. So, yeah, I won't be riding trains today. Hope you still have fun and, yeah, see you at the venue later, probably. Fedco dropping in. Truck driver to X up off the start tower drop. Was that the backflip Superman C crowd? I think it might have been. Tough to tell from that angle, but that's a trick that we know he loves to pull out. 360 tail up. Right into a 360 Indian Air C crowb. I love that trick. Backflip bar spin to whip on the second hip. There we go. 360 downside whip into the whale tail. Backflip tail up down. This is a huge run if he can finish it off. Get the extra it. bar spin in there at the end. Whoa! That extra bar spin might not Whoa! seem like a big deal, but it's going to be so much considering the level we're on today. Look at the elation from him. So relieved. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. That is so That's his signature. Air, C grab 360. Bar spin flip to tail whip. That was perfect. Fuck it. Fitco, and he launches it to sink at 91.5. He hasn't lost an event since he started winning an event. So will he carry the streak on today? Emil Johansson on course, starting out with the flat drop backflip. Up in the ante on the cannon. 360 windshield wiper losing pedals on the first hip. No. 
They're veterans. They know what it takes to come back and really stick that second run. I mean, how many times have we seen it come down to the last run? So here we go. Last opportunity here for Emil Johansson. Can he make it four slope styles in a row? Starting out with the flat drop, back flip, front flip, bar spin to tuck, no hander, similar to what he did last year. Can he get this double down? 360, double down side tail. Here's where he threw it away in the first run. Sixty windshield wiper straight to panels landing high. Clean. Is this going to be a winning run? Three whip to table. We go opposite three double down whip off. Wow, he's balancing things out. Trucked it down whip down. Last jump. No way. Opposite three sixty bar spin to downside whip. Come on. Did we just win the winning run? That Amelia Hansen delivering uh -huh. under pressure. Yes. And there it was. You can see that was everything he had planned. He landed that last jump, and all the emotion just came right out of him. The second run is for experimentation and, and dumping it out. Here we go. Currently sitting in fourth place. Here's Eric Fedko, double truck down. All right, he's already up in the ante here. Grabbing a pedal here into the, oh, he missed the seat grab, Indy 3. OK, that's it. Oh, so stylish. So this will become a throwaway run. Fedko laying it down for the crowd. Unfortunate, couldn't have a better second run. Okay, hold up. What just happened here? It was a lot. Here a little recap. After the first day of practice, Eric took a brutal crash during the whip off because he sent it way too hard. He had to skip a bunch of practice but this did not stop him from getting out there and putting his unique style on the course. Eric Fedko ended up laying down a clean run in finals, performing his most difficult tricks, and claiming an almost miraculous fourth place. Emil Johansson on the other hand, surprisingly missed his pedals in his first run, with only one run left. Emil laced his run, stomping quite possibly his most technical run of all time. A score of 97.5 secured him first place. The stoke level was at an all-time high. I mean, that, that plan has been roughly in my head since I was here last year. I just couldn't make it happen last year with the wind and stuff. So I've had a dream scenario of working towards this goal and including all those tricks back to back. And yeah, this, this line is a dream scenario, really. One here last year. He's winning it again. Please make some noise for Sweden's own Emil Johansson. Did you know that some people think that Emil is an alien? Find out this and more in the following interlude. This is a bit of a difficult question, but what is style? And let's begin with, with Eric. Let's begin with Emil. <laughs> I think style is... <laughs> good. <laughs> it's just like... Yeah, it's a hard question. I don't really know how to explain it. I feel like Emil has something I <laughs> loaded. <laughs> I mean, style is... Everyone has style. Like, style is something that is separate for everyone. It's individual. I think a lot of style has to do with how you execute stuff. It's like, if you're just executing it as a note on a paper or something, like, okay, I'm doing that trick, but there's no heart, there's no soul into it, which means that it's just boring like there's no <sighs> details yeah there's no art in it it's just like it's just a line on the paper really why is emil an alien because <laughs> he's doing crazy stuff on his bike which i can't understand how he does that sometimes he's doing tricks I, i'm like what the fuck did i just see you know <laughs> just and some rumors said that he's an alien. What is your response? <laughs> uh, rumors are fake. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not an alien? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Just wanted to clear the Yeah. <laughs> now it, we all know. It would have been super nice to be an alien. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it sounds like being an alien is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Let's get back to it. A roller coaster ride of emotions over the last few days made Eric and Emil think it was time to seriously mellow out a bit. 
Luckily Innsbruck has a few good spots to just let the wheels roll. Dirt Park Innsbruck was first on the list. Next stop is Bricks Leg Skate Park, just 40 minutes drive from Innsbruck. It has the oldest cradle in existence, and is a pretty dope place to let creative juices flow. At least I got down. What's going on, Emil? Tell me. We are at the skate park. Bricks Leg. Huh? Bricks Leg. Bricks Leg. Is that the name? Yeah. So there we are, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna ride some. Eric's probably gonna skate some, and just enjoy, man. yeah, just enjoy. Pack it out, pack it in. A road trip is about to begin. I'm still wet from yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh. Four bikes, four helmets and lots of stinky clothes, all packed tight in one car. Emil and Eric drive hundreds of kilometers along the Autobahn to Frondenburg, Germany, to check out Eric's home. Where are we, bro? So we're at my place in Dortmund. Where? I usually ride, get ready for my competitions and stuff like that. It's a bit messy, but I love the place. I have a nice skate mini ramp right there. Um, also my dirt jump for the training. Sure. What do you think? I think it looks good. <laughs> sure. <Yeah. laughs> Four now or was it three? Oh. Dude. <laughs> oh, that was scary.
this concludes the second episode of the series called Raising the Bar. We hope you have enjoyed this tasty little nugget of content. There is more to come, so check it out if you like. Goodbye.